everyone. Well, we're going to start off the new year with yet another delay in the Boeing Starliner orbital flight test launch date. That's referred to as the OFT-2. After four months of troubleshooting the cause for the aborted Starliner OFT-2 mission flight in uh, August of 2021, NASA and Boeing have released a plan for a new launch date for the OFT-2 mission, which will be in May of 2022. We're going to discuss this plan and whether or not it will work, or is this just another delay tactic for Starliner? Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. As we discussed in an earlier video, the Boeing Starliner project is horribly behind schedule, and with this delay, it's now even further behind schedule. Both Boeing and SpaceX were awarded commercial crew space transportation services contracts to and from the International Space Station in 2014. Both companies received contracts for five crewed missions to the ISS, International Space Station, but first needed to certify their spacecraft to carry crew members. SpaceX certified their Dragon spacecraft and has now flown three crewed missions. SpaceX is planning to fly the two remaining missions on its contract this year in 2022. Boeing has yet to get the Starliner certified to carry crew members. Despite sending almost twice as much money as SpaceX, Boeing has significantly lagged behind in spacecraft development for the Commercial Crew Space Transportation Services contract. With the launches scheduled for this year, SpaceX is approaching the end of its original NASA contract for the six operational crewed missions. NASA is going to have to issue a new contract for Commercial Crew Space Transportation Services to and from the IS, ISS and recently issued a formal request for information, an RFI, soliciting information from potential sources. With this later Starliner delay, NASA has to be losing confidence in Boeing's ability to certify their Starliner to carry astronauts to the ISS. In December of 2019, Boeing launched the first OFT-1 mission, their first test with an uncrewed Starliner. Starliner encountered several software problems during that flight, resulting in a premature landing without docking at the ISS as it was scheduled. Boeing initially attempted launching the OF-2 mission in August of 2021. A few hours before the scheduled liftoff, about half of the valves in the Starliner service module malfunctioned. After investigating and analyzing the problem, Boeing determined that the Starliner needed to be removed from the booster for further inspection. And that was done. Now, after several months of analysis, Boeing and NASA decided to replace the service module with a new one that was originally planned for Starliner's first crewed flight test. They feel that they have a much better understanding of the contributions that led to the valve issues and ways to prevent it from happening in the future. From the manner the press release was written, it sounds like there's some uncertainty in the solution, as they really haven't found the cause yet. No one will know until the next launch and the propellants are loaded into the service module if this fix is going to work. NASA and Boeing will continue the analysis and testing of the initial service module on which the valve issue was identified during the pre-launch testing of the uncrewed OFT-2 mission, which, is scheduled, which was scheduled for August of 2021. The service module is a critical component of the OFT-2 mission and provides the power and propulsion to the Starliner capsule during flight and it's ejected by the Starliner near the end of its mission. With another delay from Boeing, 
SpaceX could complete its contractual obligations for the crewed missions before Boeing makes its first unmanned mission. Unfortunately, this is not a good situation for NASA to be involved. NASA needs to have reliable transportation services to get its astronauts to and from the International Space Station. NASA certainly does not want to have to purchase transportation services again from Russia to fly our astronauts to and from the ISS. Well, with that unhappy thought, I'm going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe and notification buttons. That way you'll be notified every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching. And in the meantime, remember, failure is not an option. Bye. <laughs>